Hi, I'm Brandon, Chairman of Cool Guy People Incorporated, where our goal is to inform the public of sanitation in public school classrooms. Come on, let's introduce you to the team. The point of this company is to use information from valid sources to emphasize the importance of student and classroom cleanliness. I foresee the operation of this research. I don't really know what these guys do here. I'm just kind of vibing, bro. Having proper sanitation is vital, especially in this day and age with the whole uh, outbreak. It's not just about that, though. Since schools are well known for such large places of gathering, it's especially important to stay clean. Poor sanitation can result in a lot of problems, body odor specifically, that can deprive from the learning environment. A lapse in personal hygiene in schools is usually the result of anxiety, which can be very common among students. We're just trying to inform the public of these problems, not necessarily enforce change. Informing, not enforcing. Students shouldn't have to be forced to brush their teeth in the morning. Personal hygiene is a skill students should know by now. We are just encouraging consistency with it to help schools remain as a safe and clean environment. This doesn't just apply for the students. Teachers also have an important role to play in keeping clean. Some surfaces are used by dozens and dozens of students a day. Doorknobs, shelves, desks. These things need to be, at the very least, wiped down daily with disinfecting cleaners if they're not already. I'm just really hoping that people take this company seriously. These glide lines are easy to follow, and yet they can have such a significant effect on the lives of students. Proper sanitation increases student attendance and decreases the effects of malnutrition, according to the World Health Organization. Thank you for joining us today. We hope that this short documentary has cleared up any questions or any accusations that you might have had about our company. This just goes to show that us big companies don't have anything to hide. And that there's nothing in our closet. We'll be seeing you again very soon. But until then, remember our motto. We, we can't, can't afford another, another lawsuit. The employees at Cool Guy People Incorporated were associated with the events that occurred on August 31st. Cool Guy People Incorporated is in no way involved with the deaths of three government officials on the 7th of September, 1984. Any insurance claims made against Cool Guy People Incorporated will be registered as soon as the entire facility has been completely bleached.